Hi guys, welcome to Android Guido. So in this video, we are going to do a quick review of the AOSP RRO room. So as you can see that this room is based on Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. It comes in with the July 5, 2016 security patch too. The stock kernel is at permissive by default and the build date can be made out from in here, which is 1st of August. The developer options are not enabled by default. So in order to enable them, you need to tap on the build number seven times to do that. Okay, so as this room is based on uh, AOSP, uh, it's a really very lightweight room and uh, the developers of this room have uh, just included the layers theme engine in along with a certain optim uh, along with an optimum number of uh, customizations so you know don't expect that many number of uh, features of you know from a it is not a feature rich room but uh, at the same time it has those ample number of settings which will keep you at peace um, so first of all we have the display settings uh, from in here you can uh, you only have the volume rocker wake settings uh, in the end and uh, the rest of the stuff is pretty normal then uh, we have the sound and notification settings under other sounds you can enable or disable the dial pad tone screen locking sounds charging sounds touch sounds and vibrate on touch um, so that's all what we have in the sound and notification settings then we have certain hardware key settings so if you are using a device with the backlit keys then you can customize the illumination timeout and then you can customize the long press action on the double tap action of the home button and the short press action on the long press action of the menu button and if you want to have a quick look at the actions which you can choose from then these are the options which you get um, then uh, we have the storage and USB section again uh, as I told you previously to this room is going to be definitely a lightweight room because it is based on USB along with the layer steam engine that's what uh, they have included in the room um, uh, so for my device uh, most of the rooms are around that 400 and uh, 500 MB in you know that's what they occupy in the internal memory uh, but uh, again this room being based on AOSP uh, entirely it is uh, it is lightweight and hence it occupies only to 245 MBs um, then we have the battery settings so again as this room is based on USB you can enable or disable the battery saver anytime you want to um, you can configure how the battery icon should look like currently I am running on the portrait icon then this the circle one which we get this the, again you can just hide it in the end if you want to um, then uh, oh, uh, next up uh, we can also show hide the battery percentage if you want to enable up to you then if you want to have a quick look that for the circle too then this how the <coughs> battery percentage will look like um, so whatever you want to have that's completely up to you um, then as I told you uh, this room comes in with the layers theme engine uh, but first of all uh, when you would uh, be running up the layers theme engine for the first time you would have to grant it the super user access from the pop-up box from the super user pop-up box which will uh, uh, open up in uh, which will uh, open up as a screen overlay when uh, when you launch the layers theme engine for the first time then uh, we have the security settings so you can configure the lock screen type the lock screen message unknown sources is checked in by default um, that's all what we have in here and uh, uh, just quickly if you want to have a look at this too uh, nothing new in here backup and reset mm, nothing in here too uh, okay so developer options uh, okay so I did tell you that uh, I've always in fact uh, mentioned that Android debugging should be enabled by default it is not enabled by default though um, but uh, just in case if you want to if you plan to restore your apps using titanium backup or uh, you know if, if you just want to be on the safer side of things so that uh, in case your phone goes messy then you can always flash a custom recovery or the stock room of your device using the fast boot mode uh, um, but that can only work if you have enabled android debugging then just below the animation settings you have the multi window mode um, then we don't get the kill app back button in uh, so that's all what we have uh, in the settings menu um, and uh, now going on this is how the power menu looks like we do get a reboot menu and then you can uh, we do have the advanced reboot menu too going to the recents we have the clear all button as I told you and uh, then you can also configure the multi window mode if you want to have a quick look at that 
um, okay so you can configure the layout uh, you know where it should be top bottom or and now in Android Nougat you can further customize that uh, as per your wish so again uh, I'll leave this to you then uh, we have the stock uh, CM13 browser too and uh, additionally there are no bugs in this room uh, you can uh, mobile data works fine Wi-Fi works fine so no device related bugs too if you are if you are an Android one device user then uh, there are no device related bugs um, but uh, if you are a different device user uh, other than the Android one devices then uh, you would need to check if there are any RIL bugs or you know the network not working or anything of that sort but uh, for my device everything is working fine um, then uh, okay another great feature which uh, I forgot to show you is uh, um, okay so from the uh, stock file browser under the storage and USB section you can install any APK file which you want to directly from the file browser itself um, again this functionality is not in many rooms in many rooms it is there in dirty unicorns but not in many rooms uh, so again it's a great feature to have in um, uh, another thing which I notice which I would quickly like to show you too is that uh, we do have the emergency button uh, on the lock screen so again it is one of those features which is missing from many rooms um, okay so then we have documents downloads email FM radio we do get a gallery we have uh, the layers manager messaging phone setting it and the stock launcher has only one setting to allow or disable the rotation wallpapers this is all what we get then uh, widgets these are the ones which we have so nothing new in here too uh, and in the end we will just quickly enable the system UI tuner by long pressing on that gear icon in the quick settings panel uh, things these are the and these are the ones which you can add on so it's only the broadcast style which you can add on and if you want to reset it to the stock layout then you can just tap on that reset uh, option then so if you want to enable on you can do one at the moment and the moment I just check it off it disappears then the demo mode <laughs> you know demo mode is just for taking pretty screenshots um, it will put your time up to a 6 p.m. and it will uh, put in the network signal icons the battery and the Wi-Fi mode 200 percent so just in case you want to have a look at that and uh, you know for that you need to have Wi-Fi enabled uh, in fact it did enable it uh, but maybe it is not shown in the status in the status bar uh, okay so but it does put your battery and the network signal 200% so that's what uh, I guess um, so I think that I have covered up each and every feature which this uh, which this room has to offer and uh, also the camera is from uh, stock marshmallow so uh, that's all what this uh, uh, what this room has got again not many number of co customizations but an optimum number of customizations such as the clear all button and uh, the volume rocker wake up settings the button settings uh, you can configure those sh short press and the long press on the double tap actions so I guess uh, if you are uh, if you want a lightweight room then uh, you can definitely go ahead and flash this room so I guess uh, I have covered up everything and uh, in case you like this video then do hit the thumbs up button and if you want to get in notification in whenever I upload my next video then do subscribe to my channel as well. So thanks for watching guys and I will catch you guys in the next one.